Shivamshi Krishna, working as assistant professor in Saint Martin Engineering College, located in Hyderabad. So today we discuss the topic of method of separation of variables in partial differential equation. Mm -hmm. See here, method of separation of variables. Method of separation of variables in partial differential equations in partial differential equation see here what is the procedure of method of separation of variables in pd so here first of all we have to take suppose z is a function in terms of x and y z is a function in terms of x and y now here so here z is a dependent variable and x comma y are two independent variables. So what is the uh, solution procedure of separation of variables? So first of all we have to take the solution must be so z is equal to x y z is equal to x y where the function x in terms of x and x alone and here the function y in terms of y alone. So we can call that here z is equal to x comma y which is x is in terms of x and y is in terms of y l. So this is the solution. So here we have to find x value and y value, substitute and get the required solution. And to, be, to know the x and y values, the procedure is, first of all we have to find the terms dou z by dou x and dou z by dou y, substitute uh, these values and here we have to get one relation here. So here those relations are equated to some constant a and from that we have to get the values of x and y. From that we can get the values of x and y and under some conditions also there for the condition we can get constant, substitute it and get the solution. So this is the procedure of separation of variables in partial differential equation. You see, see one problem here, you see given given for ux plus uy is equal 3u and the condition is u of 0 comma y is equal e power minus 5y e power minus 5y you see here what is the given differential equation here 4 into ux means 4 into dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y which is equal 3u which is equal 3. Now you see here, first of all we have to make that the given function u in terms of x and y that is let u is equal x in terms of x alone, y in terms of y alone. Now, so which is u of x comma y. So first of all we have to find these two terms dou u by dou x as well as dou u by dou y. Now you see here partial derivation of the function u with respect to x. So what you can get here y into x dash. So similarly here dou u by dou y dou u by dou y same which is x into y dash. So substitute these two in one you see here substitute the above in one the above in equation 1. So what you get here 4 into dou u by dou x y into x dash plus dou u by dou y which is x into y dash is equal 3 into u. What is the u function here in terms of x y that is x y. So what is the next step here we have to take the x and its derivative one side and y and its derivative is another side. So see here 4y x dash which is equal 3xy minus xy dash so here 4y x dash which is equal here taking x common you get that 3y minus y dash now you see here we have to take the x and its derivatives one side y and its derivatives are another side so what you can get here 4x dash by x which is equal 3y minus y dash by y. Now, so this is step 2. What is step 3 here? We have to equate this relation to a constant. From that, we have to get the values of x and y. From that, we have to get the values of x and y. Now, see here, next step.
you see here so equatic some constant k so equatic some constant k so what are the two relation possibility here 4 into x dash by x is equal to k and another relation is 3y minus y dash by y is equal to k so you see from first equation we can get x values here from that we can get y values you see here x dash by x is equal to k by 4 and it's here integrating by integrate to remove the derivation terms by integrate so integration of x dash by x which is integration of k by 4 so x is a function in terms of x alone therefore we have to get here dx now what you can get here this one log x which is equal here 1 by 4 kx plus some constant say here the constants which is only c1 so what is here the x function here x is in terms of x that is anti log that is exponential of c1 into e power kx by 4 so from this first equation we can get x function in terms of x so similarly by using second relation we can get y function in terms of y so see here so here 3 minus y dash by y is equal to k so from this 3 minus k is equal to y dash by y to remove derivative terms so by integrating by integrating so here integration of 3 minus k so these are y means functions of y alone so we can get here dy integration of y dash by y so what you can get here 3y minus ky some constant is equal log y some constant say c2 here so what you get here y is equal c2 into e power 3y minus k y so taking y common here we can get 3 minus k so here we can get 3 minus k you see here the x function is c1 into e power kx by 4 and y function is in terms of y which is c2 into e power y of 3 minus k now substitute these two functions x and y in the solution which is so which is u of x comma y what is here x into y what is x here c1 into e power kx by 4 and here y is here c2 into e power y of 3 minus k 3 minus k now see here so we have the constant c1 into c2 that one we can treat as a one constant here c1 into c2 say here capital c which is c into e power kx by 4 e power y into 3 minus k so to know the constant value c and k here we have a condition given the question that but given condition is u of 0 comma y which is e power minus 5y means in place of x given as 0 in place of y given as y as it is now see here so how to get the constants here c and k substituting by the given condition so here e power minus 5y therefore e power minus 5y which is equal constant c into what x value here x is 0 here so here e power 0 which is 1 and here e power y into 3 minus k y means as it is y y into 3 minus k so compare here the e powers here we can get so here 3 minus k is equal to minus 5 so 3 plus 5 is equal to k k is equal to k now here you see k is equal to 8 what about c value here c is equal to 1 so by the given condition we can get the constants as c is 1 and the value of k is 8 and the value of k is 8 now you see here substitute it here u of x comma y which is c what are the value of c here 1 into e power kx by 4 what is the value of k here k is equal to 8 so here we can get as 8x by 4 into e power what is about the y here y of 3 minus k what are k value here 8 so here 
u of x comma y is e of e power 2x into e power 3y minus 8y e power so here what is 3 minus 8 we can get as minus 5 which is e power minus 5y and here and therefore what is the solution here so here u of u of x comma y say which is e power 2x minus 5y u of x comma y is e power 2x minus 5y so this is the solution of the given equation that is u of x comma y is e power 2x minus 5 so whenever given one function and given one condition to get the constant value in the question so here the general solution is u of x comma y is e power 2x minus 5 okay so this is the concept of method of separation of variables in pd so next Now, so next here you see next concept is next concept is we have seen some special functions we have seen some special functions so basic definitions see here beta and gamma function so we are having two types of special functions in that first one is beta and gamma function now you can see here the definition of beta function See here the definition of beta function. You see here the definite integral integration of 0 to 1 x power m minus 1 into 1 minus x whole power n minus 1 dx. 1 minus x whole power n minus x n minus 1 dx. So this definite integral is known as beta function and this is a function in terms of m and n. In terms of m comma n therefore the beta function is denotes with beta of m comma n beta of m comma n so this is the definition of beta function and another name of beta function is Euler integral of first kind and here and here the conditions are so this is existing the beta function is converges for the values m must be greater than 0 and n must be greater than 0 now you see here some examples of beta function examples of beta function this is the first one say beta of 4 comma 6 which is the one integration 0 to 1 x power 3 1 minus x whole power 5 dx and you see the second one beta of beta of 6 comma 4 which is integration of 0 to 1 0 to 1 x power 5 the 1 minus x whole power 2 dx now you see here so next we have to see the example which is not a beta function so where the beta function is converges for the values m comma n must to be greater than 0 now you see here another example you see beta of beta of minus 3 comma 5 so which is integration of 0 to 1 x power you see what the value of m here minus 3 so here we can get m is equal to minus 2 so here minus 2 1 minus x whole power 4 dx but here the value of m is minus 3 which is less than 0 therefore this is not a beta function this is not a beta function so this is the basic definition of beta function and the examples Next, we are having the properties of beta function. Next, we are having the properties of beta function. You see here. You see, in that first one, we are having symmetric property, which is the beta of m comma n is equal to beta of n comma n which is known as symmetric property which 
known as symmetric property and the second one is beta of m comma n which is 2 into integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin power 2m minus 1 theta cos power 2n minus 1 theta and here d theta and we are having the third property beta of m comma n is integration of 0 to infinity y power y power m minus 1 by 1 plus y whole power m plus n dy so these are some uh, properties of beta function so this is the today's session thank you